Hi, my name is Mike Lightfoot. I'm director of music here at the church, and tonight I'm going to be reading one of my favorite books, The Boy and the Ocean by Max Lucado. And the paintings in the book are by J. Lively Fluharty. The little boy rolled over in his bed and opened his eyes. Through his window, he could see the ocean. Big and blue, rolling waves, water crashing on the beach. The little boy stood at the window and searched for the end of the ocean. He couldn't see it. He could see the ships on it. He could see the birds above it. He could see the horizon stretched across it. But the little boy couldn't see the end of it. He couldn't see the end of the ocean. Would you like to play in the ocean? His mother asked. The little boy stood on the edge of the water with his mother. She took his hand and they waded into the surf. When the water covered his feet, he looked up at her. When it reached his knees, he took a breath and squeezed her hand. When the wave rushed against his chest, she laughed. He did too. The two sat in the sand and let the waves splash around them. God's love is like the ocean, my little boy, she said. It's always here. It's always deep. It never ends. God's love is special. The little boy spent the day playing near the ocean. He counted starfish. He built sand castles. He searched for shells. But most of all, he watched the ocean. He could see the clouds above it. He could feel the tide within it. He could taste the salt inside it. But he could never see the end of it. He could never see the end of the ocean. That night, as the moonlight stretched across the sea and landed on his face, he listened to the waves slap, slap, slap against the sand. Go to sleep, my little boy. His mother whispered, the ocean will not leave. The ocean will not change. The ocean is like God's love. Always here, always deep. It never ends. God's love is special. And so the boy slept with the sound of the ocean in his ears. The next day, the little boy looked out a different window at the mountains, high and tall, white-tipped, touching the clouds. The little boy looked from side to side to see the end of the mountains. He couldn't see it. He could see the trees growing among them. He could see the snow glistening on top of them. He could see the birds flying around them, but he couldn't see the end of the mountains. Would you like to hike the mountains? His father asked. He took the boy's hand and together they started up the mountain trail. When the leaves scattered over the boy's feet, he looked up at his father. When the wind shook the tall trees, he took a breath and squeezed his father's hand. When they looked out over the great valley, the father smiled. The boy did too. The two sat on a rock and looked around them. God's love is like the mountains, my little boy, the father said. It's always here. It's always big. It never ends. God's love is special. The two spent the day playing in the mountains. The boy splashed in the creek. He picked flowers in the meadow. He listened to the singing birds. But most of all, he looked at the mountains. He could see the sky above them. He could feel the wind blow through them. He could hear the water that bubbled between them. But he could never see the end of them. He could never see the end of the mountains. That night, as the moon appeared from behind the peaks, the boy thought of the mountains and smiled. Go to sleep, my little boy, his father whispered. The mountains will not leave. The mountains will not change. The mountains are like God's love, always here, always tall. It never ends. God's love is special. 
And so the boy slept with thoughts of mountains in his dreams. The next day he ran on the beach and swam in the water. He chased his puppy up the mountain trail and looked for flowers. When the day ended, he and his parents lay on the grass and looked at the night sky. Stars everywhere, twinkling, shimmering, diamonds in the dark. He looked as far as he could to see the end of the sky. He couldn't see it. He could see the moon, yellow and round. He could see clouds, puffy and fat. He saw a star race from one side of the sky to the other, but he couldn't see the end of the sky. Would you like to count the stars? His mother and father asked. So they tried. A dozen over there, two dozen over there. There were too many. When he reached a hundred, the boy looked up at his mother. When the wind turned chilly, his father held him close. His parents looked up into the big sky and became quiet. So did he, for a while. But then the boy spoke. God's love is like the night sky, he told them. It's always here. It's always big. It never ends. God's love is special. The boy, the mother, and the father stayed for a long, long time near the ocean, close to the mountains, beneath the sky, surrounded by God's love. And they smiled. Thank you for sharing this special time with me and your family. Let's say a prayer before we end our time together. Good and gracious God, giver of love and light, bless our family when we're together and when we're away. Help us look for ways to help each other, to serve each other, and to love each other in all that we say and do. Thank you for Jesus and the stories he told. May we use all of the stories we hear as a way to know you and your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Before you end your family time together, be sure to bless each other. You are blessed to be a blessing. Good night and sweet dreams.